Hey, hey, gold standard students. Today we're going to be learning about proper classroom behavior, or SLANT, which stands for sit up, listen actively, always participate, note key ideas, and track the speaker. Let's take a look at some of the do's and don'ts of SLANT. First off, let's look closely at what some of these students are doing wrong. If these scholars were following the S or sit up and slant, they wouldn't have their heads down. As for the L and slant, how are these scholars supposed to listen actively when they have their headphones in? A classroom is not the time nor place for headphones. That goes for fidget spinners too. When teachers give you work to do, they always expect you to do it, or always participate, as in the A in slant. Watch as this student pushes his work off the desk, and this one too. In order to ensure that you are studying the right thing when test time comes around, it's always important to note key ideas. This scholar here seems to be drawing, not note-taking. To remain respectful while your teacher is giving a lecture, make sure to maintain eye contact or track the speaker. These scholars seem to be minding their own business and not paying attention to the lecture. As you can see, when students fail to fall slant, teachers often become impatient and frustrated. Let's take this back and look at what good slant looks like. Notice how not a single student in the room has their head down. Look at that posture. When you're listening actively, this may consist of nodding, or at least just showing in some way that you're paying attention. A simple way to participate in class is by raising your hand and answering the teacher's questions. When noting key ideas, remember to write down the big parts of the topic or something that the teacher emphasizes on, as this scholar is doing here. Watch as these scholars maintain eye contact as their teacher is walking throughout the room. This shows that they're paying attention. Great work, students! 